Oh, uh, hey, welcome to Jay and Beyond the Rocks. Uh, uh, I'm Jay, actually. I will be um, your bar tender. This is alcohol here. Yeah, and my name's B. I'm the uh, videotape editor, and I, I wanted to let you know that, in fact, we are sitting here in our own living room with a tr camera on a tripod, as you're seeing now, with uh, some friends. We thought we'd let them speak for themselves. Yeah. I'm... Orange. Oh, T. Oh, yeah. 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 Kind of confusing. The T man. And Jenny. And uh, actually, the the name of this episode is Up All Night, and there's a very good reason for that. Because actually, we will be staying up all night. Well, I mean, I have to because I start a new job tomorrow, and I. Uh, oh, I'm a proud representative of the Yellow Cab Company, and and I will be working six at night till six in the morning. So I've got to totally wow. change. Wow! So you got to change your sleeping Sleep patterns. You know? Wow! Circadian cycle. Cool. Yeah. But I got my orange. What about hey, hey, yeah, you do. <laughs> orange. Vitamin C. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My goal is to read. Read books. Read so stuff. I have yeah. to stay up yeah. to read. As you can see, she's studying now. Such is the yeah. life. Yeah. The busy life of a student. And there's yeah. some funny things in it. So. Wow. She'll be pointing those out later to mm -hmm. us. Excerpts. Yeah. And shit. And my goal, as always, is just to get so drunk that I can't stay up all night because I'll just be kind of <laughs> lying in a pool of bloody stupor. Yes, and on that note... So, as your bartender on this program, j and on the Rocks, I feel it's only necessary that I must mix you a drink in this here glass. You got some ice in here. We're going to be mixing a, an Insomniac is the name of this drink. Um, it's for all of those uh, in the audience who are watching this program, not because they're interested, but because they can't get to sleep. What you should do is mix about an ounce and a half of brandy in a glass, pour it in there, and then, uh, and then top it off with about an ounce of Damiana liqueur. Now this stuff is purported, purportedly uh, some kind of aphrodisiac for you insomnia insomniacs. So you should, you should know that if it doesn't make you go to sleep, it'll probably make you need to masturbate or, or have sex with someone. Um, so just Which is the be, next best thing. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so here we go. We're going to taste this, the insomniac, for you. My love. Mm. It's mm. worked! Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little color to my life. Adding a little color to your life? Uh huh. Oh, lovely. To Kroger. Venturing to Kroger because uh, we have certain needs which will be fulfilled. Um, oh shit! I just ah! hit a dog. God damn it! Oh man! Well, God damn! <laughs> I hate it when things. Like, oh well. We are just, animals. I hated just, that fucking dog anyway. Faster. God damn it! Just, that fucking dog was pissing me let's off. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Sweet as ass. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jenny, Jenny is reading. still reading. Yep. What a studious, studious person you are. <laughs> I got well, God, it's 1246. We're halfway there already. <laughs> the Kroger Save on Pharmacy. And the Bible Fun Book, number seven. Now, on page one here, you'll see that. Well, we've got this dog, and oh God, what's he doing? Oh God, he's got a log. Oh dear. She's riding the log. Yeah, she's riding the log, and he's oh, he's looking at her, and she's looking at him, and he's got the big stick, and well, obviously, they need some condoms. I've chosen this brand, what? Fiesta. For what? Yes, it's the happy couple here with our condoms, our Fiesta assorted colors, our Bible fun book, and our little eye patch here for, for you know, a little, uh, like, pirate fantasy. And, of course, uh, our meat. 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 The important part.
Hey, hey, Jay. Jay, what? What? Man. Oh, oh. What the fuck? Oh man. Gosh, I must. I must have. Um. You gotta help me out, man. I, I need company to stay awake. Gosh, I must have fallen asleep. Gosh. Oh, it's all. Well, it's like two o'clock in the morning. And, and, I mean, we're supposed to be staying up all night, but god damn, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning, I, uh, gosh, and I still haven't even gotten to use my condoms yet. Gosh. Oh, but Jenny's still awake, hot dog. Jenny Beasley. Jenny Beasley over J. here. JB, you'll note her, her initials there. And then there's Terry. And Terry Hornsby. The, the inspiration for this up all night episode, you know, I, I, I don't know if you've even caught that yet, that's what this episode is about staying up all night, except <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm going to bed. Um, but at least I've got my condoms, and so with that, I'll be seeing you later, and, and I can only hope that B and Terry can uh, can take care of things while, uh, while me and my loved one go and try out some of these chic elites, not to, <laughs> not to endorse any particular brand of condom or anything, but... Good night. See ya. Have Bye. fun. Probably having sex right now. He may be filling that nipple end of that condom as we speak. So, Bart and I, it, it's just us now. Just us. And we're going to keep it going to the morning light. I think we're going to go get us some coffee right now, though. You want some coffee, man? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go get some coffee. Bloomington, Indiana. Uh -huh. I just wanted to let you guys know that everything's not doing right and all this. Um, I got my picture taken today at the newspaper and uh, I'm going to be working with the Stone Belt Handicap Kids and if anybody needs any help at the handicap schools or anything, let me know because I work with the handicapped kids in Bloomington, Indiana. Thank you. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, I've, I've got to admit that I'm not feeling as mentally alert as I'd like to be. And that probably has something to do with the fact that it's, what, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning? Uh, no, three o'clock. I don't like to think about it. I'm not sure exactly, but that, that's why we're here drinking this. Yeah, poor me. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Mm. Thank you. So, how, how many cups does that make? Actually, this is only my second cup, man. Uh, what about you? What are you working on? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I lost count after five. <laughs> there he is. A man with whipped cream. <laughs> Here. It's 4.15 a.m. We're still here at the Waffle House. And right now, you're on J&B on the Rocks, everyone. With wow. my lover and adored, Jessica Zorenwald. You're in love with a tape recorder? Oh! <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no. My woman, she's, she's in England. My adored, and, and I'm sending her tapes of my voice. Um, in, 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 in lieu of letters, I'm sending her tapes and, and she's writing me in return because she's such a superb writer, but 
We are actually going intercontinental right now. This is wow. intensely interactive. Jessica, you are on JNB. Everybody out in JNB land, Jessica's here. We're all interacting it's right now. It's the Global Village. Wow. Multimedia Global Village. Mm -hmm. I love this woman. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Frank Court again, and I like to uh, uh, play video. Uh, this little uh, game, uh, poker, and I always win on this poker game. Nobody could beat me on poker, and I love to play poker, and I like to play on the Uno. I play all kinds of card games, um, and I also play uh, the lotto, usual lotto and all that, and I like to be on TV to see if I get to win the huge lotto. The Thank million dollars. The million dollars I want to win. $16,550. Thank you for closing at this tape. Is Thank you, Frank. Frank. Yeah, well, we left our buddy Frank back at the Wolf House to keep things tied down there, and we're coming to my friend's Amanda's house. Well, an, ab get, huh? an abrupt change of scene. Boom. Boom. We're no longer there. It's that coffee hallucination, the caffeine yeah. hallucination. 4.30 a.m. I gotta get some shoes. See, I'm not allowed to wear tennis shoes while I drive a cab. These are the only shoes I got with me. Um, when I was homeless, I had shit scattered everywhere, and Amanda kept some of my stuff, and she's got my pair of shoes that I'll need to wear. And uh, I got a key to her pad. She's in here naked. She's laying here completely naked. Look at that. She's got her legs spread out. Look at that. Oh, come on. Did you really? They got higher standards than that, JMB on the rocks, you know. There's. God damn it. We're all excited. excited. Here's my shoes. Do you have to go pee? Yeah. So, uh, obviously, uh, thank, thank you, Amanda, for uh, letting us sneak into your apartment here in the middle of the night, totally unbeknownst to you. Uh, however, obviously, the wine bottle is empty, so there's no point in sticking around. Pretty good combination. location, uh, formerly my residence until I was uh, informed by by a neighbor that, that, that the police would be on my ass if I maintained that I was trying to protect myself from, from losing my money to the land whores and losing my money to the land whores and losing my money to the land whores. But I've got a couple more items we gotta go get and losing my money to the land whores and so on. I've got a couple more items we gotta go get. Welcome to my life. I'm losing my money to the land whores. The police would be on my ass and losing my money to the land whores. But I've got a couple more items we gotta go get. So I'm on our way down here to an abandoned house and formal my residence and so on. We're on our way down here to an abandoned house and so on. The police would be on my ass, but I've got a couple more items we gotta go get. I wanna show you this place, it was pretty cool. All right, so this was my humble abode for about 30, 60 days, I can't remember. I still have some stuff behind, some of my bunk bed. My moon posters, oh, I haven't seen these for a while. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Why well, you've got a lot of stuff in here, man. Use this kerosene heater to stay warm. That kept me way warm on those like below zero bitter cold nights that we had. Insulated the windows, stapled them. 
nailed them into the wall, insulated this to kind of trap in the heat. This is my kitchen with some moldy Vienna sausages, perhaps. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Yeah. Grabbing your things? Yeah. Getting ready to go here? I think we should hurry because uh, okay. didn't you say that uh, we could get in trouble for being here? Oh yeah. See, this isn't just an abandoned house. It's it's five to eight years felony burglary charge. Hey, we, we we spare no expense. We take every risk to bring you quality entertainment, live dramatic conflict. This is it. Felony burglary is awfully dramatic. Yeah, well, quite a load you've got there. Yeah, my own beast of burden. Uh, but hey, you know, I had to get that shit out of there, man. There was no way I could have stayed there, man. There was no way I was gonna save maybe, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks and risk going to prison, man. Although, wait a minute. I wouldn't have had to pay rent. <laughs> or utilities, or f food, or... Fuck. And you missed your chance to get in on that prison gravy train, Mr. Homeless Man. I'm a loser, so kill me. <laughs> I'm a loser, so kill me. It's all connecting, man. I've got my shit together now, man. I was out on the streets. I'm paying rent now. I was out of work. I'm working now. I'm going to be making some good money. Well, what time is it now? Wow. Uh, seven? Let me see really quick. In 24 hours, I will be completing my first shift at the yellow cab. I'll be tired, it'll be a new life. 12 hours a day, six days a week. Hey, you know, every night I'll be working. Call up the cab if you need a ride, man. I, I'll come get you. What a great morning. Great morning. I wanna work hard, I'm ready to work hard. Christian work, work ethic. Just give me a chance, America. Give me a chance. Well, it looks like uh, it's getting pretty bright out here. Yeah. I think we've succeeded in staying up all night tonight. Up all night. Just give me a chance, America. Up all night. Just give me a chance, America. Up all night. Just give me a chance, America. Up all night. Just give me a chance, America. Up all night. Give me a chance. Up all night. Just give me a chance, America. Up all night. Give me a chance. Tonight. Just give me a chance, America. Tonight. I want to work hard. Tonight. I'm ready to work hard. Tonight. Christian work, work ethic. Up all night. Thank you, America. Tonight. <laughs> Up all night. Yes, we've been up all, all night, night, and it makes me feel good. All night. Um, it's it's still a little dim. The camera's probably having a little trouble focusing. A lot of technical difficulties, but um, at least we've seemed to have surmounted the biggest technical difficulty of all. All night. All night. That's right. All night. All night. There, there. No. What you there? Damn. What you looking for, man? The sun. It's eight o'clock in the morning. The sun's been up for a half hour. And yeah. It's just, just clouds and the snow. The snow's nice though, but uh, I thought it'd be it'd be a great ending to the show to have a nice sunset. Yeah. You know? Sunrise. We we made it. We made it. And we that, made it, man. And that's what I'm all the way, gung ho. Yeah. Semper Fi. But I I'm now so lacking in mental clarity that I just don't feel like I can uh, go into work today, so I'm yeah. gonna have to go to. Yeah. We have to go over there right now, uh, to my place of employ, and confront my employer about this crisis. Face to face. Face to face, live on camera, for you. 
Dial America Marketing, the place where I work. Chris, this is Terry at Gmail. Nice to meet you, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. It's been one crazy night. It's been um, one. <laughs> and I haven't had a, a wink of sleep. I had a, a friend, actually, who uh, almost got arrested for burglary. Oh. And I got involved with it. Uh, oh! Dave? <laughs> um, you want Bart to reschedule for this week or next? You can have okay, him come in extra next week. Or I'll work an extra shift then uh, next week, so I just wanted to shake your hand. Well, and hey, thank you, Chris Briones, my my uh, my boss. <laughs> Actually, enjoy your day off, there, Mark. And uh, you should say hi to the, uh, to yourself. Hi, self. <laughs> See, what a friendly guy, huh? What a great place to you work. Got it, man. Yeah. Well, you know, it was the God's honest truth. I'd. Uh, I'm not sure if I was really expressing myself very clearly because I, I feel so dazed and from uh, the lack of sleep, really. I think it's about time that I go home and and pass out. I've just got to, I've just got to get some sleep now. Thousands of homeless vets planned a rally Thursday in front of the White House, but that's the lack of services offered to veterans. veterans. And locally, Julia Blaine in Indiana University. Could it, you could at least say goodbye. Well, goodbye, I guess. Where are you guys going? How many of those condoms did you use, man? Can we see one oh, of them? Oh, um, can gosh, we see one it's of in them? the toilet. It's in the trash can over there. There was twelve in the box, and there's only five here, man. What's yeah. the box, man? <laughs> well, yeah, we were up for a few hours, so to speak. Uh, doing it. Doing it. Well, we've been up doing it too. We've been doing it up all night. Well, <laughs> we kept it up all night. <laughs> what about that? I'm so I just couldn't We are and we're gonna pick your ass on our head and we go really fast. we and we're gonna get drunk now. Whoa! 